Hey everyone, how are you doing? Mike here, and today we're taking a look at the 120 watt light from Light My Leaf. Uh, so this light here was sent over for uh, testing and to show you guys uh, what it's capable of, and uh, that's what we're going to do in this video. So we're going to do some testing, we're going to do some power testing, we're going to do some energy consumption testing, see what it's pulling from the wall. Um, and we're also going to uh, check the temperature, so we want to see how warm she's running. So this here is their newest model of the 120 watt panel. And uh, I'm just going to turn off the panel for now and we'll uh, flip it over and we'll give you a little look. Um, so just one of the first things I want you to notice here, um, this is using the Samsung LM301B as well as the Samsung, uh, Samsung LM301H diodes. Those would be the 3000 and 5000K diodes. It also has the Osram 660 nanometer deep red um, and that's those ones that you see here. Uh, so you'll also notice that on this light there is a silicone coating. Uh, so this here is going to help you with, uh, you know, keeping it clean. So if you want to wipe it, you're not going to have to worry about, you know, cloth getting caught on one of the diodes and, and damaging the light. That's something that I've actually seen happen. Um, it's a possibility. So this coating is really going to protect that. This coating also helps uh, protect against humidity, which is great. Uh, so you can actually see here they went with a little bit unique style uh, of a layout. Now, they have these little boxes here, which is they put most of the diodes on the outer edge. So what they're trying to do when you see this with the light is usually they're trying to eliminate a hot spot within the center, um, but also trying to push out that light to the edges further. Uh, so I'll be interested to see when we do some testing how this actually works out for them. Taking a look at the driver again that we just mentioned, um, it does have an RJ11 uh, capability to the front of it. That means you can control uh, up to 50 lights, just plug in the wire to, to daisy chain to the next light, the next light, um, and up to 50 lights. It also has a potentiometer here, which allows us to control the light uh, from just to say turned on, which is 20%. All the way up to 100%, where it's just actually a pretty bright light for it only being 120 watts. So, what we're going to do here now is we're really going to get into the testing that we mentioned a little while ago. Um, we're going to be testing the PAR, like I said. Uh, we're going to be testing the energy consumption pull from the wall and the temperatures. So, we're going to get into the testing now, and we'll be back in a few moments with all the details for you. Stick around. guys so welcome back here from the testing uh, so let's try to cover this information here quick so for energy consumption we were pulling 122 watts so that was 122 watts after eight hours of running time uh, so we know that the energy the light was uh, was pulling everything that needed the light was up fully up to temperature uh, and none of those uh, other variables uh, were going to make the uh, you know the energy consumption just change or whatever so uh, 122 watts for temperatures uh, we hit uh, 120 degrees Fahrenheit on the top, um, and that's 48.9 degrees Celsius. Uh, on the bottom, we hit 51.6 um, and 124 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, so it gets pretty warm, but that is not uh, extremely hot by any means uh, for light. It's not, it's, not, uh, it's not going to be too much for this light to handle. So for PAR test, um, we actually did a couple different part tests, and I got some cheap notes here in my hand, so we could uh, we can cover this. So we tracked in a three by three, uh, three by three for veg, sure. Uh, for flowering, definitely no. So let's take a look at that a little further. Uh, one thirty in the corner, uh, left corner, right corner, one eleven, bottom right, one twenty four, bottom left, one thirty nine. Um, that's just not quite enough for flowering, so 
definitely move on down to the 2x2. Two two. So let's take a look at the 2x2 two two here. Uh, 562, 480, uh, 566, and 512. There you go. We have it. Uh, so that's what we're looking for for flower. Uh, anything below 5 is not really going to do much for you. Uh, so anything 5 and above. So 2x2 two two coverage with this thing here, 12 foot, recommend a hang height. Uh, Bam. I've also included a couple different par maps here, 42 with a 14 and a 16 inch in a 2x2. Two two. So you guys can have a, a quick little look at that. Um, but yeah, overall, total uh, fixture here. We're taking took a look uh, at the energy consumption, all this here. Did some math. Um, come out to 2.19 micromoles per watt. Uh, fantastic little light here, guys. Um, pretty efficient. Uh, yeah, I don't really know what to say. It's, it's a fairly decent light. So if you guys would like more information about this light, go check out Light My Leaf, it, uh, lightmyleaf.com. It is the only place where you can purchase them as of now. And uh, yeah, anyways, I'm going to throw it in the description for you guys. And you all have yourself a great day. Take care. Peace.